land of tweaking. Welcome to the land of tweaking. Yeah, I will let you uh, tweak this slightly, or maybe I'm too mania to leave it like this. Oh, there's something maybe found vertical horizontal. No, okay. Anyway, one last little thing. You, oh, okay. Remove the behavior. That's what was uh, making it look unaligned. Okay, it's better now. Don't uh, do this probably. Ah, health. Okay. It's super good working, super well. I don't need this one here. And uh, save. Save to graphics and effects. Alright. <coughs> Okay, I think it's uh, all I want. Oh, one last thing your character tends to go behind the health pickup or any pickups. So, what you want to do is to bring the character back to front and start. So, move to top of the layer. Yeah. Ah, I'm dying so much today. So here you are on the in front of the pickup. Okay, <coughs> let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, this is working. This is I will just rename this one to HUD Crystal. Here we we just can do so much in terms of uh, tweakings that uh, this video is starting to get uh, very long I wanted to be sure to to have done everything here I, that I did in the other KPX the last thing I want to add is a little gradient to create some light at the bottom which I would put on the main HUD, main uh, layer, on top of everything, and it will be. I will set the the origin to top left, and just do this. So when you start the game, you have a nice little, it's a bit uh, too stretched, so you start to see some uh, some interpolation of color, but here it's slightly better. Oh no, I just died so much. There's maybe some refining in the collision to, to do because I, I touch uh, the side and I fall and then died uh, anyway. So, well, maybe you should uh, stop the trajectory of the. I don't know. That's you to choose. Uh, okay. So, okay, okay. I think I'm pretty much done as far as event and um, graphics goes. As you can see, uh, once you have graphics, to implement them is really, really fast. Making such a game was kind of fast. I, it went slower than, when, than uh, what I can do because I had to explain everything. But once you master uh, the notion, I uh, 
I talked about in the video in all these weeks you can make such a thing I'm not counting the graphics creation but you can make such, such a game in less than an hour so uh, that's uh, really really fast fast so next time we'll see audio we'll see uh, exports and we'll see third party plugins how they work how to install them etc I will make a last uh, extra video just after this one since I am on a uh, on a how can you say I'm making them one after the other today uh, so yeah I will make a last video on the platform behavior itself I didn't really talk about um, all these parameters how to play with them what they represent and, uh, and all the dynamics you can create by just tweaking uh, them so we won't touch the game uh, this game anymore I will close it and it will probably yeah crash there's this uh, recurrent crash and close I don't want I don't know why uh, anyway you have the um, neon platformer done just have to add moving platforms and other levels and sound if I have time uh, for the last lesson I might implement the moving platforms since you have the moving enemies it shouldn't be too hard that's a hint but uh, okay I will uh, at least do audio export and uh, plugins so uh, uh, see you in the next video for everything about platform behavior